Hi everyone, it's November 2nd, 2018. I'm going to start this video, but it's more about the migrant caravan and the military buildup on our southern border. And everybody should be really concerned about what is taking place. No, America is not being made great again. It's actually being brought down on a daily basis. And if you have not noticed the madness increasing, I don't know what to tell you, but just listen to a minute and a half of this video posted on the Conscious Resistance channel. I will link below to it. But it, in the minute and a half, it reveals quite a lot, which I'll tell you what it revealed to me. Maybe it will reveal something to you. Oh, shoot. Volume. Muted? Not very good. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you guys? Yes, I do. Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. Corruption. It comes in many forms. Theft, bribery, lies. Sometimes this corruption can lead to powerful people getting away with crimes. Unfortunately, the American people have grown accustomed to seeing politicians and the wealthy get away with all sorts of criminal and immoral acts. Where the average person might suffer a loss of reputation, monetary fines, or even jail time, the well-connected class are often able to weasel their way out. Whether we are talking of the Iran-Contra scandal in the 1980s, which found American military officials selling weapons to terrorists, the lies about Iraq's weapons, weapons of, of mass, mass destruction, destruction, the 2008 financial theft by the global banking elite, torture carried out by American soldiers at the orders of their superiors, corruption and violence from police on the local, state, and federal level, or the long history of indiscriminate bombing campaigns resulting in the deaths of millions of people in the Middle East. We go out and find the guilty party, we put them on trial, and then lock them up. But 9-11 um, changed all that. It is clear that there is one set of rules for the people, the ruled, and one set of rules for those in government, media, banking, corporate entities, and their extremely wealthy financiers, aka the ruling class. We have had a class ruling us for a very, very, very long time before 9-11. And yeah, sorry to those who want to argue against Americans, the ordinary Americans, playing a part in the madness that we are living now in this country, becoming a tyranny cementing itself every day for years and years, regardless of the administration, the change of president, has not mattered, has not mattered who is in Congress. It has continued rather smoothly. How could that be? How could it be that Americans have allowed this to happen. How, how? Because we are not who we claim to be. We've become accustomed to the corruption, desensitized to every institution now, so corrupted, immoral, how could this have manifested? Republicans now fighting these crazy liberal Democrats. It's the Democrats' fault. Really. Republicans haven't shown their lying, how corrupt they are. But what did Americans do during the Iran-Contra affair? What did we do during that Democrat-controlled executive branch with Obama selling those guns to the Mexican cartel, fast and furious? What have we done? We have shown ourselves to be children in adult bodies, and when you are children, mommy and daddy dictates all of the rules and how you're going to live. It's the Democrats, not the Republicans. Oh, and that weapons of mass destruction 
lie. We have accepted lies from every administration, Democrat or Republican, and we still have unbelievably awake people who believe it's the Democrats. We have an awful lot of, well, primarily Christians who believe it's the Jews that get rid of those Jews because they are morally corrupted and sick and twisted and and they, well, they're degenerates, degenerates. You think these soldiers are Jews? No one could make me do this. No one. Order followers hold the most responsibility for the criminal acts that they commit. I'm tired of people saying, well, I was just following orders. Everybody wants a scapegoat. When you want a scapegoat, when you are blaming somebody else, when it's obvious that you yourself contribute to the wrong doing, to the evil, to the manifestation of utter madness, to the manifestation of a tyranny. You just simply can't face the truth of how you have been the useful idiot allowing all of this corruption to take place. You can't look at the fact that you have a core that has been corrupted. Am I talking to you personally? No, I don't know you. But none of what we are living could have manifested if we had a people of substance. If we had a people who were not lying themselves and living a lie and only concerned about me, 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 oh, they talk good and they claim that they're caring and compassionate and they care about, uh, but watch how they live. And you can see, very obviously, I just want to do what I want to do and, well, I want to live comfortably so I'm going to knock out reality and I'm going to put into my head a reality that works for me. And we have a majority of Americans who do that. I'm going to tell myself things that are so blatantly untrue. Hey, but it makes me feel good. None of this evil could have flourished if we didn't have an awful lot of good people sitting around doing nothing about it. Bottom line. We started on a lie. I got a comment from somebody I could not believe him. Talking about Jews. If you look into their history of genocide. Whoa. How did this country start? It started with Christians raping, pillaging, plundering the most disgusting violence, getting rid of a whole people because I want what I want. And I am going to tell myself that I'm doing it in the name of of Christ. That's good enough for me. I'll tell myself that I'm a believer in Jesus and I'll commit the most immoral acts allowing other people to suffer the consequences of my acts or I will sit and do nothing as evil flourishes around me.
because I have Jesus and I've got my beliefs that allow me to not do a friggin thing because I don't want to. I don't want to get off my butt and fight against the evil. I want to tell myself things in my mind, interpret that Bible, interpret it in a way that it works for me so that I can continue to live as comfortably as I can. Don't even want to be here. And I'll tell myself this is a temporary home so I don't have to do anything. Jesus is coming back to make everything right again. And then you get an awful lot of people who are just so upset that you're always talking about the Christians. No, I talk about hypocrisy in all groups, but you have been the majority and you have manifested evil. So those two things, the juxtaposition of those two things mean that something's very wrong. Well, Americans don't want to face reality. They want to lie to themselves all the time. They want to believe that they're brave and courageous and we're nothing but little wimpy children living an incredibly immoral, self-centered, word disgrace. Is that everybody? Am I talking about everybody? No. I am talking about the majority. Whether Jew, Christian, um, atheist, agnostic, it, it doesn't matter. We're all about me, me, me. And because we've got that moral relativism now, we can decide for ourselves that our immoral behavior is moral. We can decide for ourselves that our self-centeredness is, hey, oh, I'll just tell myself a lie. I'm not self-centered. I care about other people. But you can watch how people live and know that they're lying. And, well, I just have to believe in Jesus. And that's all the work that I need to do. I don't have to improve myself. And I can continue to tell myself, no one's perfect. And no one even said anything about being perfect. I can tell myself that I can continue sinning as long as I repent. What does repent mean? Well, I say I'm sorry. But it's so disingenuous because they continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. That's not repentance. Repentance is genuinely feeling a, a remorseful for the way that you've lived and and you begin to do the work necessary to change how you live. Oh, well, that's just too hard. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put things into my brain, information, that allows me to justify how I live. And I can continue thinking that I'm a good person. We have been so easily accustomed, desensitized to all of the corruption around us, as long as we're still comfortable. Those who are not comfortable, you don't hear from anymore. And there's an awful lot of people who are not comfortable. America is on the brink of a nervous breakdown. No, we are now living the nervous breakdown. And what happens after a nervous breakdown? You get the police and a man or a woman in a white coat come to lock you up. All of this is continuing and it doesn't matter if Trump is in the White House ratcheting up of the calls for the government to clamp down on the citizenry by imposing more costly security measures without any real benefit, more militarized police, more surveillance, more widespread mental health screening of the general population, more threat assessments and behavioral sense warnings, more gun control measures, more surveillance cameras, 
with facial recognition capabilities, more see something, say something programs aimed at turning Americans into snitches and spies, more met metal detectors, and whole body imaging devices at so-called soft targets, more roaming squads of militarized police empowered to do more stop and frisk searches, more fusion centers to centralize and disseminate information to law enforcement agencies, and more government monitoring of what Americans say and do, where they go, what they buy, how they spend their time. More and more, every single day. But I want to focus on uh, this event happening over here. So, well, just a few days ago, it was the synagogue shooting, and now it's the militarization of uh, our border on the U.S.-Mexico border, and nobody is thinking about how all of the military going down there, now apparently it's 6,000, it's been announced that it could be 15,000, the militia also there, and now our military claiming that our, um, the militiamen, Military Times, deployed border troops are preparing for militias, stealing their gear. So now we have the possibility of our military turning against Americans militia. They don't say anything about why they are preparing for militia to steal their gear, but they're setting the militia up. As this has been going on for <laughs> a whole lot of time, I mean the liberals up north, and I know this for a fact because, well, that was my social network, they hear militia, they think crazy. They have been socially engineered, indoctrinated by mainstream media to believe that militia, they're crazy. They're violent. They're terrorists. How easy it is to manipulate the American public. But you would not be able to manipulate a people if they were living their principles that they speak. It's only the people who are full of shit that can just buy full of shit people announcing, reporting all of this information. You can't get people who are of substance, who have a moral core, who believe that the truth is sacrosanct to believe this horseshit. So, what could go wrong here? with this caravan. You have one soldier who fires and hits a migrant. Boom. Riots start. The left go after the right. You're Nazis, after all. You've all been programmed to hate one another. You have all been programmed to believe mommy and daddy and to go after one another. And it's so sad to see this. Did you know that we had a caravan in April? That we had a caravan coming up from mainly Honduras. And what happened? It was stopped. <laughs> huyendo de su país por toda la violencia porque ya mataron a mi hermano porque los asaltaron porque los amenazan de muerte All right. um, I just want to point out that there's an obvious that Europeans, Americans, Canadians none of them seem to get that our western countries particularly our country here the United States we have been destroying countries left and right, Central America, South America, Middle East, and nobody seems to want to take into account. And when I say nobody, I'm, I'm really talking about 
the willfully ignorant. They do not want to even think about the fact those Syrian refugees, well, we were bombing and fighting in Syria. What the hell were we doing in Syria? How about those Iraqi refugees that we took into our country? Were they fleeing a madman called Hussein? No, they were fleeing the U.S. military, destroying their country. Honduras, El Salvador, the Iran-Contra affair. We were right there. We have been destroying countries for decades and decades and decades. Well, oh, wait, 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 wait. We started doing that, didn't we? We started believing that in the name of Christ, I'm going to steal, rape, pillage, whatever I can. That's been going on our, that, that's our history. But we don't want to face the truth. So we live a delusion. We allow our military to cause so much suffering in all of these countries. And frankly, I would, I get how people are writing that this caravan is um, comprised of all of these people who have to escape the American influence in these countries that have caused a lot of the suffering and well the war on drugs and the war on drugs our CIA is probably the most powerful drug cartel in the world. But no, we're not going to look at that. We're not going to look at that. We're going to believe that there are these Mexican cartels and cartels all over and we've got to stop them. When you don't understand that our government works with those cartels. Oh my God, there's so much. But now it's overwhelming to the point where people just throw their hands and don't even want to bother trying to understand what the hell is going on. So this caravan, oh well, it didn't work out quite the way they wanted it to. And you listen to these people and they want to come here for better jobs. What are they fleeing? They're fleeing gangs. All right, why was it, well, how come it wasn't a success in April? Because it's better to bring it about near the elections. Central planning of government. Migrant caravan. This is interesting. Hmm. Not found. Era 404. What is this? Pastors for Peace. Hmm. Well, the Pastors for Peace regrets to inform that our July caravan is postponed until November. Wow. Right around election? This is what you get. Can't read their statement. Taken off the internet. But you get a little glimpse, just a little glimpse. We're postponing the caravan until November. Are these people really fleeing the crisis in Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala? Have these people really? All of them, 7,000, they suddenly woke up and decided, I got to get out of here. But we haven't heard anything about uh, more of a crisis in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala. We just accept what we hear from mainstream media and Daddy the President. Yeah, 7,000 people, they all arose one morning and said, I got to get out of here and I've got to walk toward an uncertain future. Really? They decided to leave their home, their families, uproot themselves to come towards the United States, the country that destroyed their countries. Um, and what? It, it, it's, it, all of this defies credulity. It defies logic and reasoning. Oh, 
But most Americans just don't get the obvious. This didn't explode suddenly. It was halted in April. Then another caravan in July decided we're going to postpone until November. We're fleeing gangs. We've got to flee the violence for our lives. We got, But we're postponing until November. Holy shit. Are we in trouble? And we are in trouble because Americans do not know how to think properly. If the migrant caravan is an invasion. What's the term for what the U.S. is doing in Syria, Iraq, and what Libya and Yemen and <sighs> yeah, those liberal crazies will not ever protest what the U.S. military is doing. They're now protesting against Trump because he's a Nazi and he wants to stop this caravan. And then you got the right who, yay, military finally being sent. Forget about posse comitatus and and forget, don't even think clearly, okay? Don't don't even think that all of this is manufactured. No, nope, no. It's the left doing it to the right, and Trump is there, Big Daddy, who is sending the military to stop it to make America great again. Uh, what could go wrong? We could be looking at martial law in just a couple of days if a soldier shoots at one of those migrants. But um, the, 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 you know, when you look at the buildup and then you look at some of these articles with our military going against the militia, hmm, not good. Not good. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot what I was going to say, but I do want to say that we are such hypocrites and we are so, oof, boy, um, if you're not looking at the U.S. invading other countries and the premise is always a lie that Americans, can, they love their lies because it allows them to sit back and do nothing, uh, but the lies have become so outrageously obvious that it's so... Um, now, for those of us who actually can see how Americans operate, it's, it's getting so sickening and repulsive to watch your fellow Americans, how twisted and sick they are mentally and how immoral they are. Um, so, you read headlines like this, migrant caravan members sue Okay, we don't, we know that this is some human rights law firm who got, I guess has filed a lawsuit for, uh, on behalf of the migrants who are not here, who are not Americans, and who have no standing because there has been no injury yet. But somehow they filed a lawsuit without standing. How does that work? Well, it works when you have an awful lot of people who are um, part of this staged freak show that we are watching. And no, do not get all, you know, upset because I said a freak show. People will think, oh, so you think that these people are freaks? No, I think we're watching a freak show of Americans believing horseshit and a lot of people who are coming. Is it 7,000? We don't know. These pictures that we see, are they from April? Are they now? Are they staged? We don't know because we are trapped in a lie and Americans, ordinary, as well as the mainstream media, our government officials, our president, every, every friggin' thing is a lie. So you can't ever know what the truth is. And when you have, and when you know, because you know the truth, that our American government is involved with this propaganda, using it against the Americans, when you have psyops going on all over the place, you have no clue what is going on. 
But if you are someone who has jumped back into the matrix and you support Trump and believe that he's making America great again and you see this, you will put all the information into your brain that confirms what you believe. It doesn't matter if it's the truth. You get false hope from it and it allows you to sit back and do nothing and you're just going to be believing that this is great. He sent the military to stop this caravan. And the fact is, is that we have no idea what is happening. No idea what is happening. None. Could this be, could this be the, 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 uh, the event that brings in martial law? Well, it could be because Americans are friggin' nuts. Nuts. But our president actually said that if our soldiers could shoot migrants if they are throwing rocks, what did that remind you of? Maybe those Palestinians? Um, we're in trouble. There's no way that we can get out of this trouble because Americans have been so thoroughly manipulated to hate one another, to, to continue being the useful idiot, hating an enemy that has been falsely portrayed to them, whatever the enemy is, Jew, Christian, Right, left, black, white, don't matter. And truly, because we are <laughs> not brave and courageous, we're little wimps. We're scared of our own shadow. Oh, maybe because we never have looked at our own shadow. To try to become integrated human beings. Oh, shadow. Well, if you don't know what that is, do some research. Shadow work. Looking at looking at what we don't want to look at of ourselves, how we behave in the world. Looking at the dark side, because we all have evil in us. And if we don't ever examine our own behavior then we don't have awareness of ourself. And if we don't have awareness of ourself, haven't looked at what kind of evil is inside us, that evil will unleash, unleash, and it can be triggered. It can be triggered over the slightest happening and shoot migrants who might throw rocks at them. You got a president who is so unrestrained, so immature, such a bully, such a, and um, people love him. Hell, Americans think that they're morally superior when they've been voting for the lesser of two evil. We have been so twisted, disturbed, unable, to, to even think clearly for a lot longer than a lot of people want to face. You want to believe it's all the frequencies and the poisons that Americans are being subjected to? What was going on in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s? It's very, very hard to corrupt an uncorruptible soul. So what's an uncorruptible soul? An individual who has worked a great deal on their own self to grow up, to mature, one who has done the work necessary to clean up those 
childhood issues that we carry into our adult life. And those who have reevaluated those beliefs to understand where they come from so that they become an individual of substance. They've raised their consciousness and they have learned that their care is genuine. They understand that before they did all of that work, their care was bullshit because the care didn't generate action. That's when you know it's genuine. Look guys, we're never gonna get out of this because people just don't want to deal with reality. You can read this article, Consequences of System Failure. Mike, um, is it Krieger? He, in the finance world, writes about the political upheaval, not just occurring in our country, but all over the world, writes about how uh, these the, uh, the economic financial paradigm, as well as our political paradigm, it's all failed. We are watching and living the rapid destruction of the United States for the New World Order. Slow, painful, dangerous death. All systems have been failing for a very long time. But we allowed it. The ordinary American. We allowed it. We did nothing. We did nothing when the Warren Commission came out lying through its teeth about JFK's assassination. Oh, it was that fancy miracle bullet. One bullet. Okay, well, whatever. Iran-Contra affair. Oh, we were glued to the TV watching that. Ah, eh, well, whatever. Weapons of mass destruction. We go in and we are glued to the TV watching Mainstream media put reality TV right in our face, watching our bombs drop. We destroyed people, destroyed a country. When we found out it was all a lie, we did nothing. We've been doing nothing. We've been a good people, allowing evil to flourish. Good people who sit around doing nothing aren't good. But Mike Krieger here, he talks about how Americans, they don't want to face reality. Well, there's an awful lot of people who are writing about how Americans, their refusal to face reality is the reason why we are going down. So I hope that all of you are, you know, beginning to really examine what is taking place here. Border troops bracing for possible clashes with armed crackpot militia of U.S. citizens, military going after American citizens. And do not think, when you see headlines on military times, that our military is preparing for the stealing of gear from our militia, you know that we are facing something far more insidious than what your daddy president is telling, telling you. the hardened southern border. Well, we know that it could be 15,000. Now, understand this. When a country has a people that are experiencing a nervous breakdown, you do have to 
think about nervous breakdown, then police come, then you're locked up. Okay, so collectively speaking, this nervous breakdown where people are on edge, hate one another, and so stressed out, you could see one migrant being shot, boom, the lefties go off on the righties, the right get pissed off. We could have martial law all over the country because all of the seeds are being put together to make that happen. Why is the Army Corps of Engineers being called in? Three combat engineer battalions, three medium lift helicopter com companies, three AC-130s, one C-17 military police units, medical units. When we have the laws, all we have to do is enforce them. When we have the technology, all we have to do is use it. And there are Trump supporters who are, oh God, thank God he's sending the military. You better start thinking about what is happening here. And this border issue has been going on for a long time. It's scary what is taking place, but it never has been scary in terms of what these elite psychopathic crazy people are doing. I fear the order followers and the ordinary Americans who don't give a shit about anything because they have decided they're good people. I get to decide what's good because we're living a time of moral relativism and that's it. So go away from me. I don't want the truth and the truth is too upsetting. I don't want to do anything. I just want to remain comfortable. When you have a majority of people who are doing just that, you get easy tyranny taking place. All links are below.